Hello, I am Maggit Kamel Boulos. The topic of my presentation is eHealth and Web 2.0, looking to the future with sociable technologies and social software. What is Web 2.0 or the social web? Compared to Web 1.0, the traditional mostly read-only web we all know, Web 2.0 is the read-write web par excellence. In Web 1.0, users follow links to content, while in Web 2.0, they can also rate, comment, annotate, edit, create, mix and share content. Web 2.0, the people-centric social web, thus facilitates social networking, collaboration, and the level of participation beyond that associated with traditional online methods of learning and information delivery. Greater levels of democratic participation, agency, and choice are possible, where users act simultaneously as readers and writers.
Now back to our presentation, Web 2.0 can be useful for people who use multiple computers in various locations, for example the delicious social bookmarking service is one such application useful to people on the move. There is also uh, the different collaborative document authoring and editing applications like Google Docs and Spreadsheets and like wikis. Uh, we have uh, one magical example here for you, askdrwiki.com. Web 2.0 is useful for sharing resources with others, for example the slideshare.net service where you can share PowerPoint presentations with colleagues like also the flickr.com service where you can share uh, photos but it's not just about uh, repositories for sharing web re Web 2.0 is useful for discovery of all sorts of items similar to your current selections you might be looking at a photo and Web 2.0 can help you find similar photos it helps you also build communities and discover like-minded people and groups of people or researchers or whatever. This is uh, known as the social networking services. Uh, one uh, popular example is myspace.com. Now let's see the example of a Web 2.0 application in action. I chose YouTube which is not just a video file repository for online sharing of video files but is also a true web 2.0 video community where people can meet and discover videos based on interests they have in common and where they can even communicate with each other using asynchronous video clips making what is known as video blogs instead of replying to each other using text they reply to each other uh, using uh, video uh, segments of or clips of themselves or whatever they want to post as a reply YouTube is known by the motto broadcast yourself one such YouTube broadcaster is 79 year old Peter Oakley from the UK known by the nickname Geriatric1927 in YouTube. He used a webcam to shoot his videos and posted them on YouTube where they have been seen over 5 million times. Geriatric1927 made his YouTube start in August 2006 with a series of videos about his life entitled Telling It All. What I thought was wonderful about it was, um, whilst I've not been taken part in chat rooms, I have seen what goes on and, well, pretty disgusted by it really, um, because people could hide behind any sort of identity, um, false identities and, and the dangers to young people in those places I thought was was dreadful but when I found that uh, YouTube had this video facility where in fact you could see the person you were talking with then all those dangers were um, gone so it does I think reflect the whole of society so uh, that's a wonderful thing they ask me all sorts of different things um, because I get a, a great quantity of letters from people um, and they ask me all sorts of different things because friendships have developed uh, within the community and um, people who go on there will look at their own sort of genre of things that they are interested in um, and um, people seem to have taken to me as a... Um, as a granddad type of figure and so they often they they tell me how um, sad they are that their grandfather has died and that they didn't have a relationship with him that they would like and um, they tell me about their troubles sometimes and uh, but generally they are just 
complimentary on uh, their opinions about what I'm doing, really. Accidentally, it's not, it wasn't my desire to do so, but I think through uh, having um, an older person on there, it has encouraged many other people of, uh, well, some younger than me probably, but uh, having, has encouraged a lot of adult people to go on it, yes. And that's been a great ven of benefit because it is now a much wider community. Yes, and, and I mean, I do get, have had many letters actually telling me that, that uh, I have encouraged them uh, or they have been encouraged by me being there to do similar things, yeah. <laughs> Terribly embarrassed. Why? Uh, well, it doesn't seem like it's me because I've always been a person who has... Um, well, never rated his own abilities, possibly. I don't really know what the reason is, but it seems really like it is I am two people and it's another another person, and uh, um, I am rather embarrassed about it all. Well, no, because uh, through it, I am having this communication with so many uh, people across the whole world and it's wonderful I remember when I first had a computer and uh, then I was connected to the internet I thought oh this will be wonderful I can make friends all over the world but um, it doesn't happen but it's only happened to me now so um, yes I'm uh, I will keep doing them as long as people um, uh, people respond uh, and like them It is an uncensored medium for ordinary people uh, to put forward any opinions that they want. A very, be a very dangerous thing, possibly. I don't know, but uh, that is the whole point, isn't it? Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Fair now let's discuss some important Web 2.0 definitions and concepts. Ratings are a feature of Web 2.0. These can be users' ratings of content, photos, videos, uh, also users' ratings of services, whether web services or real-world services, or even users' ratings of other users. Ratings reflect the wisdom of the crowds and their collective intelligence and experience regarding the rated subject or item. A good health example of ratings is the service provided by patientopinion.org.uk. In this service, patients can describe and rate their experiences with uh, healthcare providers, uh, healthcare services and hospitals around the UK and share these descriptions and these ratings uh, with other online users. Foxonomies are another important Web 2.0 concept. These are collaboratively user or community generated free-form metadata tags or labels that categorize Web 2.0 content. Foxonomies can be used to discover similarly tagged items. Another important Web 2.0 concept is remixing and repurposing of content. This is about content viewed in one online location but originating elsewhere. For example, you might be viewing a single web page but the content on this page is coming in real time from multiple sources around the web. Two important buzzwords or enabling technologies here are RSS feeds, RSS stands for really simple syndication uh, feeds, these are XML based feeds commonly used in news items and mashups, I'll give you an example of mashups on the next slide. Issues surrounding uh, the notions of remixing and repurposing include copyright issues, since you are reusing 
content uh, originating elsewhere and uh, mixing it with other content and the different chunks are or might be uh, uh, owned by different groups of people and there might be issues of copyrights also issues of attribution and authorship these are all uh, interesting areas of investigation of research and policy uh, potential policy revision this is a mapping mashup example it's a screenshot of health map a mapping mashup service that overlays health related news links from multiple sources on maps sourced from Google Maps. This is a good example of Web 2.0 content syndication. Uh, in Web 1.0 uh, we uh, are all familiar with the stickiness of content which means content originates and stays uh, on the originating uh, sites but in Web 2.0 and thanks to uh, RSS feeds and other uh, enabling technologies we have content syndication. We can uh, reuse uh, and repackage content from multiple sources and present it under uh, a new interface in real time, like this example. More definitions and concepts. Uh, social networks, this is a very important Web 2.0 uh, concept. Uh, some people uh, consider social networks to be a synonym of Web 2.0. Uh, these are online social structures made of nodes which are individuals, humans linked together through common interests or some common theme. If you remember the example of MySpace I mentioned a few slides ago, this is a good example of a social network. Facebook is another example of social networks as well. Facebook.com Individuals belonging to a social network usually post an online profile detailing their interests and then using these profiles the social network can facilitate the discovery of like-minded people and support their online meetings and conversation with each other. Three-dimensional virtual worlds like Second Life and There.com can also be considered as 3D social networks where people can collaboratively create and edit objects in the virtual world, a kind of a collaborative 3D wiki space. Besides meeting each other and interacting with each other and with existing objects. Issues surrounding the use of virtual worlds like Second Life include internet addiction, gambling and pornography, misleading health information and quackery, trust, identity and privacy issues, and potential 3D navigation and user interface issues for older people using uh, these applications. However, as we and Second Life are expected to very soon merge in different ways, there will be many more exciting opportunities especially given the suitability of the Wii motion sensitive controller uh, which is known as the Wii Mote for use by older people so this group of uh, older people will soon have uh, a better way of interacting with uh, virtual worlds like Second Life. This is a screenshot of the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC place in Second Life and in the insert you can see two persons communicating with each other through their uh, fully textured and uh, animated avatars and please note that Second Life will uh, have voice chat capabilities later this year 2007 in fact the beta program of uh, the voice chat capabilities in Second Life uh, has already started earlier uh, this year in 2007. The New Media Consortium 
is an international not-for-profit organization of nearly 200 leading colleges, universities, museums, corporations, and other learning-focused bodies dedicated to pushing the edge of new media and new technology. For several years, the NMC has been at the forefront of using the two-dimensional web as a space for convening people around new ideas and knowledge sharing. The rich, interactive, three-dimensional NMC campus is located in the virtual world of Second Life. The campus extends the NMC experience into 3D virtual space, providing a space for insightful interaction, collaboration, learning, and experimentation, while encouraging the exploration of the potential of virtual environments. It is a place intended to inspire creative ideas and stimulate thoughtful discourse related to the potential of such spaces. It has been designed to be playful, yet serious at the same time. The campus itself encourages exploration and interaction, and most visitors will find something new on every visit. There are dozens of wonderful little niches and things to discover. Like the World Wide Web before, Second Life is a platform that allows users to share their ideas and creations with others around the world. But Second Life extends the internet into a three-dimensional world where visitors can interact in real time in a shared virtual space. 75% of users in a rapidly growing population have contributed content to a world that is 100% user-created. As a place of endless creativity, Second Life provides a richer creative social experience than is available on the 2D web. Unpredictable, emergent behaviours abound in a world where users are given free reign. And many Second Life residents have turned their play environment into their real-world careers. Lindex is a free market currency exchange that enables content creators whose varied skills range from graphic design to software development to sell digital goods for real money. Entrepreneurs in marketing, real estate and professional services have created professional companies around the platform. A secondary market of contractors has emerged to support entrepreneurial efforts. The NMC campus exists in this virtual universe and is designed both to complement and extend it. The societal and economic aspects of Second Life inform the mission of the campus, which is to demonstrate how rich virtual worlds like Second Life can be put to productive use, solving real-world issues. A variety of meeting spaces facilitate this work and allow the exploration of the human side of working in a 3D virtual environment. The library and museum are experimental spaces. The Malcolm Brown Library is the focal point of experiments exploring the intersection of 3D virtual space and the web. The Aho Gallery and the Constable Room are places where the boundaries between art and representation and between art and derivatives are explored. Originally built to support a series of virtual conversations, the MacArthur Foundation series on digital media and learning. Given the tremendous response it has received, a wide range of activities are now planned for the NMC campus. From large-scale virtual components of real-life events, like the NMC Summer Conference, to events held entirely in Second Life, one possible future of the NMC campus is to be the home for a series of NMC meetings in virtual space. Already underway is a significant use of the space by undergraduate and graduate classes interested in virtual environments, and much more such use is planned. What is most likely, however, just as in all of Second Life, is that the visitors to the NMC campus will find uses for it that we cannot possibly imagine today. To learn more about the NMC's journey into virtual space and to follow along as the project progresses, see the NMC Campus Observer, a blog set up to record not only our insights but those of other Second Life residents as well.
virtual worlds like Second Life or better call them the 3D web offer novel intuitive ways to navigate streaming audio, video and TV collections, to browse information spaces, document collections, virtual libraries, see for example the Second Life Medical and Consumer Health Libraries in Health Info Island in Second Life, a must visit place, highly recommended. Also, virtual worlds uh, can be used to relax and visit new places and sample new cultures, kind of virtual tourism. You can, for example, visit virtual Morocco or Casablanca in Second Life or virtual Egypt in there.com. Also, you can play multiplayer games in the virtual world. These can be health related. You can buy and sell and advertise virtual and real life goods and services in virtual worlds. And you can develop social and even clinical skills and socialize and interact with other people via customizable, realistic, 3D, fully textured and animated avatars. An avatar is the uh, virtual world user uh, representation of himself or herself in the virtual world. Uh, so virtual worlds uh, are about 3D social networking. You can attend and participate in live events like Second Life lectures, seminars, conferences, festivals and concerts. And you can build communities including learners communities among many other things. Noteworthy in this respect is the development of Sloodle available at sloodle.com. Uh, Sloodle is really a hybrid new application that combines Second Life with Moodle, the virtual learning uh, environment. In conclusion, social software has the potential to advance online learning and knowledge databases beyond traditional methods of delivery toward a user-centered form of information management and retrieval through the collaborative creation and indexing or tagging of digital knowledge repositories. Web 2.0 offers great potential to creative medical and health educators, but many of the associated possibilities still need to be fully identified, explored in various settings, scenarios, and carefully researched and evaluated to document best practices and pitfalls to avoid before they can be used in daily teaching and learning activities. So there is a long way uh, for research and for uh, innovation uh, in this respect. The more popular Web 2.0 applications in common news today in education like wikis, like blogs, podcasts, document sharing services and RSS feeds are but the tip of the social software iceberg. There are still many exciting social technologies and usage scenarios for educators to explore like mapping mashups and virtual worlds. Mashups are an excellent example of remixing, reusing and repurposing information in Web 2.0 to produce value-added content. Virtual worlds like Second Life are not mere three-dimensional multiplayer games. The immersive, rich experience that such environments offer combines many of the features of Web 2.0 like instant messaging and voice chat, profiles and social networking and a unique form of online social interaction that involves sharing various objects and creative collaboration on building and running places and services in the virtual world. It's all about user-generated content. Virtual medical and health libraries and access to remote librarians and other medical and health related educational applications through such worlds are not remote possibilities. For some current health related educational examples, please see this URL and you'll be given a link to download the presentation where you can find these URLs and access them later. Uh, also, there is a very nice uh, YouTube video about the Second Life uh, medical education uh, application, the Heart Murmur uh, Sim, 
uh, which you can uh, watch uh, later. Thanks very much for uh, following this presentation. Uh, you may download uh, a more detailed electronic copy of this PowerPoint with uh, much more uh, pointers and uh, material as well as additional uh, material uh, related to Web 2.0 and to uh, Virtual Worlds and Second Life at the following URL healthcybermap.org forward slash sl.htm Thanks very much.